we had a couple of siblings that were very inventive. And Mm. as they were children, they loved playing with puppets. Mm. They loved making puppets. Mm -hmm. And, And that's something that really grew into like a business for them. Wow. So in their teenage years, by the time they were teenagers, they already had a bunch of plays that they had developed. They had created their own characters. Mm. They had the freedom to do that with uh, the self-directed opportunities that they Mm. had. They were allowed to flourish in what they loved. So that became uh, something called Lemon Tree Productions because their their last name was Lemon. And so they, as teenagers, so they were unschooling, homeschooling, basically allowed to do, however, self-directed learning. Mm -hmm. And they were being hired by the school boards to go into the schools as teenagers, as like young teens, we're talking 12, 13, going into the schools to do performances on anti-bullying. Mm. So their their puppeteering was allowed them to take their message of, you know, bullying and anti-bullying, how not to bully, how to do something different than bullying mm. into the places where bullying happens all the time, every day. Wow. Yeah. And uh, eventually they became so popular that in Ontario, we have the TV Ontario. It's a government like, like the CBC or the, the, the government. It's like a PBS, but not quite. Right. Um, right. So, <clears throat> so here, they had the Youth Achievement Awards for all of Canada. Wow. And they were hosting the awards show. They got so popular. Um, and currently, the, the one, the brother, has continued mm. and, and still does his, the Lemon Tree Productions, the puppeteering, mm. and is very popular. They've worked on, on TV lots. And uh, yeah, so that's one couple of kids that were able to use their dreams to create their future reality. Nice. This is the Agentic Schools Vodcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. What makes education possible is the satisfaction of psychological needs. So that is what these schools have in common with all others. What makes a school agentic is satisfying those needs particularly well. I'm your host, Don Burr.